It should be a little bit of a surprise that some players have developed mutual contempt or even hatred of one another. Women, politics, and racism are three of the most common themes of hatred between football players, as well as some seemingly less serious disputes. Opposing teams and players getting aggressive and starting a fight on or off the field is common. But fighting between teammates doesn't happen often. Here are 10 teammates who didn't like each other. Zlatan is a player whose single appearance on this list wouldn't make him happy. He is a feisty character on the pitch, and opposition players often like to try and make him see red. Zlatan and van der Vaart were teammates at Ajax when their conflict began, although it was not while playing for Ajax. In a friendly between Sweden and Holland, the Dutchman picked up an injury, which he believed Ibrahimovic had exacted on purpose and told the press as much. Once back at Ajax, the two came to a head, with Zlatan threatening to break both his legs. Vart said, I did not have really big problems with him. It was just two egos converging in one place. I think I was a bigger problem for him than he was for me. As the Swedes' impact on the team increased, van der Vaart's only waned. Ibrahimovic later said, I don't like you. I don't like you as a captain. I didn't injure you on purpose and you know it. If you accuse me again, I'll break both your legs and this time, it'll be on purpose. Neymar and Kylian Mbappe When Neymar joined Paris Saint-Germain from Barcelona in 2017 for a whopping 200 million pounds, he expected to be the best. This would be how he emerged from Lionel Messi's shadow and eventually established himself as the most excellent player in the world. Then PSG signed Kylian Mbappe and everything went south for the Brazilian. Neymar and Mbappe signed contracts within a month of one another on August 3rd and August 31st, respectively. They both like to play on the left, therefore there would be instances when one had to be picked over the other. On the pitch, they were prolific, winning a domestic treble in their first season together, but off it, there were constant rumors of a falling out. As time went on, egos continued to clash, and upon the arrival of Lionel Messi, a good friend of Neymar, Mbappe grew more frustrated with his lot in life. You know things are pretty bad when Sergio Ramos has to step in and be the mediator. One thing that the Spanish national team did very well during their spell of winning two European championships and the World Cup was make sure club rivalries didn't have an impact on the pitch. Gerard Pique is Barcelona through and through, and he's even considered as a leading candidate to be club president one day. And since Alvaro Arbeloa was a Blanco, there was inevitably going to be some bad blood. It went further than that, though. These two have traded blows in real life and on social media, most commonly when El Clasico is on. Pique even went as far as saying Arbeloa has never really been a teammate, never mind a friend, he even compared him to a cone. It got so bad that Ramos had to step in and demand Pique at least be civil. Will footballers ever stop sleeping with their teammates' wives and partners? Thibaut Courtois and Kevin De Bruyne are yet another love-induced footballing altercation with the goalkeeper reportedly stealing his Belgium teammate's girl back in 2012. Courtois spent a night with De Bruyne's then-girlfriend Caroline Leinen, and the Manchester City midfielder has understandably despised him ever since. While the two have managed to keep things civil in public, the eagle-eyed fan will have noticed that De Bruyne celebrated extra hard when he scored against Courtois and Real Madrid, in the 2022-23 Champions League semi-final. Time heals all wounds, however, and De Bruyne has since married Michelle Lacroix and had three children. Sometimes the grass is greener on the other side. Robert Lewandowski is now one of the most effective and most exquisite strikers in the world. His first few days in German football came with Borussia Dortmund when he signed in 2008 and met future Poland international teammate Jakub Kuba Blaszczykowski. They originally clashed over their opposing political ideas, though the facts of this confrontation have never been revealed, and the friction grew over the years. Later in the year, Lewandowski invited every member of the Poland team to his wedding, with the exception of Blaszczykowski. 
The Arsenal defense is led by two centre-backs, Colo Tour and Willem Gallas. Gallas definitely lacked the backing of his teammates, most especially Toure, as he stated, after leaving Arsenal. During that period, the two guys scarcely talked, which caused enormous issues for Arsenal's back four. Toure opened up on the bad blood between him and his French counterpart. When you play with somebody and you don't even talk to each other on the pitch, it's really difficult, he explained. Me and Gallus, we didn't talk to each other at all. One of us had to go and it was me. It was coming down to me, really, because I didn't want to put the team in a difficult position. So I was the one who said, I wanted to go. The former Arsenal teammates never had a good relationship on and off the pitch. Frimpon said, but for me, the truth is, I've never liked Nasri, and I will never, ever like this guy. Even if he gives me five billion dollars, I will still not like him. I feel like he was a bully, he added. I feel like he didn't know his responsibilities as a senior player to be able to help younger players. These were some of his statements by Frimpond for his former teammate. Many reports also claimed that the duo also clashed inside the dressing room as well. Shortly after, Nasri parted ways with the Gunners to join Manchester City. When the two sides clashed with one another, Frimpong went in hard for the tackle against Nasri, even grabbing his throat at one point. This one is really quite serious. The Mathieu Valbuena, Karim Benzema blackmail scandal unfolded in 2015, shaking the world of French football. The incident was an alleged effort to extort money from Valbuena via a compromising video. They were both playing for France when Benzema became involved in the affair. It started when Valbuena discovered a sex tape of himself and his lover. Soon after, he received a call from an anonymous individual requesting a large quantity of money to prevent the footage from being made public. Benzema became engaged in the incident after being suspected of serving as a middleman between Valbuena and the blackmailers. The incident had serious consequences, resulting in Benzema's exile from the French national squad for several years. Team chemistry was strained by the divide, particularly during important international competitions. Joey Barton and Usmane Dabo Joey Barton, known for his violent behavior, both on and off the field. Nevertheless, Usmane Dabo is possibly Barton's most horrible fallout. Barton was sentenced to four months in jail for punching Dabo while they were at Manchester City in 2007. Dabo said in an interview, Joey Barton is lying about what happened on the training pitch at Manchester City. It is unbelievable. I am shocked. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.